Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Brianna. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of January 9th through the 15th. I have all of my items in front of me that I'm going to be using. Um, I am going to set up my weekly spread as well as my daily pages. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start by laying down washi. I like to do this first because it kind of, it gives me some structure, but also um, adds like that decorative element to it. And then I just write around it. Okay, I have my pouch here. I need to find my ruler that I use to cut my washi with. Okay, so I'm gonna go down there and I think I'm just gonna have it come up here. And for some reason, this week, I'm having it go a little bit um, past the border that is already there from Planner Perfect. And then I'm gonna add these cute little guys. These two specific washies are from Coco Daisy. It is from their January collection. I have to say, I love all of the things that came in that January box. Um, well, not box, but the kits that I order. Um, I didn't know if I was going to like everything when I first saw it, but then I started using it and I absolutely love it. Okay, the washi is down. I wanna go ahead and play with these dates a little bit. So let me take my white out and white out the day of the week. So once I have all of this done, I will check my calendar. I need to turn this a little bit. I will check my calendar to see what is going on this week and then add in all the little details so I know what to expect. Okay, now I'm not sure if I'm going to use, so these stickers are from last year's Coco Daisy subscription. And then these ones are from this year, this January. I'm not sure if this was January or, or December. I can't remember, um, but I never used them. So I think I'm gonna go with these ones just to bring more of the blue out. Okay, I'm gonna turn it again. Uh, to me, you know, making all these decisions and adding all these stickers to my planner it is kind of, um, it's fun for me. It's not like this extra task that I have to do. It makes planning enjoyable. And I always try to make time to do this. Okay, Thursday. Um, last week, I made the decision to cover up the day, like the date the number on the day of the week with some Coco Daisy um, stickers. I haven't done that in a while. So I'm gonna do that as well. And Sunday. Okay, so let me put this over here. So I decided I'm gonna use all of these up. So every week, let's see if I can show you. So see how I covered up the numbers? So I'm gonna do that here. Sorry, you have to be sideways. This is like the only way that I can do this without moving my camera. It's just easier for me. I also noticed that I really write, well, not crooked, but my book, when I write, I really prefer it, like really turned to the side. Do you guys, do you guys do that? Or do you keep your book pretty straight? I feel like if I kept my book straight, my handwriting would be just all over the place. So for me to write straight, I have to have my book slanted. Okay, let's turn it around. Now, the next thing I'll do is add my weather. I always jot it down 
before I start filming. And this week is supposed to be rainy. I think there's one day where there isn't rain. I am not complaining because we're in California and we definitely need the rain. And I love the rain. I've always said that I could live in a place that had a lot of rain. 65. Let's see, what am I doing? Am I writing this wrong? Sorry, I'm looking at my paper. Okay, 65, 51. Good, okay. 61, 51. 58 and 48 and 56, 48. Okay, so the only day that it's not raining is Thursday. So I'm gonna write rain. So today is Sunday the 8th. Um, tomorrow, I mean, it's supposed to pour. Like we are getting the most rain on Monday. Rain and rain. Okay, I'm gonna use blue this time instead of, ooh, let's see. Okay, I had to test it out over there. Making sure it wasn't gonna be too dark, but I'm gonna use blue because it's raining and we kind of have a blue theme going on on my page here, which to me is very wintry. Now, my yearly plan book, I'm gonna go over here and see what I have. So on the 9th, okay, so on Monday from 8.30, let's write, oh, actually I think it's 8.15. So I'm just gonna write eight o'clock, eight to 12. Um, we have the CC, um, challenge class we're gonna sit in on that with my or I am gonna sit in on it with my oldest son um, so I have that going on so then the rest of the day will be homeschool related things we're gonna kind of have a soft start we're not gonna add everything in just a little bit of it and then on the 12th Thursday, I have a tutor meeting. This is another CC thing, a tutor meeting. I have to check the time because I didn't write it down over here. Um, oh, I think it's at two or three. I'll have to look um, in my emails and then I will write that down. And I think like that is all that I have going on this week. There's not a lot to write down. Um, my main focus since we just got back into town from vacation was going to be just school. So I didn't want to plan too many things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my daily pages and then be back to show you what I did. Okay, so here is my weekly spread. And then I went ahead, I don't know if you remember from my last video, if you've even watched it. Um, what I'm going to do is have one page for the day of the things that I need to get done. And then the other side is going to be homeschool related. Um, my plan is to kind of break it down by child. Um, I... I think this is going to be more of like, as I'm going, like I'm just going to do one day at a time to kind of tweak it and see exactly what I want to keep on these pages. But that is how I set up the week. 
Um, I kind of like how it looks with the day of the week down there on the bottom. And then Saturday and Sunday, I kind of just flip-flopped instead of having it next to each other on each page. And I like the way that that turned out too. Um, I, I guess I could put some stickers down. Let me grab my stickers. I'll put those to the side. Um, these snowflakes were from last year, Coco Daisy. Um, but these were this year. Okay. I'm not going to put a lot on the homeschool side because I have a feeling that I'm going to need all of the space that I can get. But I will put this little moth up here. And then, let's see, maybe we can decorate this page first. Okay, so let's put this guy here. Today, I my job was to take down all of my Christmas decorations. Um, this is the longest that we've ever left them up, which, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm usually one of the people who is like, okay, day after Christmas, let's go. Everything is out of the house. Um, this year, though, since we went on vacation, I just wasn't in the mood to remove it quite yet. And I think, I don't know, I just wasn't ready for Christmas to be over. And now I think that I'm going to be waiting for, okay, I had to pause the video for a second. I had um, a child come in needing something, but as I was on my break, I went and grabbed my favorite chocolate. Have you guys heard of this chocolate? Now, I, this might be shocking, but I am not a chocolate person. I, give me a bag of chips, I'll eat the whole thing. Anything salty, I love. Um, having chocolate, ugh, it's not my favorite, but I found this chocolate and it's salty. It has salt in it, so it gives me that, like, when I have a sweet tooth, it kind of, it satisfies that, but also satisfies the saltiness too, so I thought I'd share that. Um, okay, I have to remember what I was saying. I think I was talking about taking Christmas down. Um, I loved having Christmas up for longer than normal. And I think that's how it's gonna be um, each year now. I might wait until after we get back from our vacation because we go up there every year. And so I'm thinking that might be the new norm. All right, what stickers? Now I'm not sure. I kind of like these, but I don't know where I want to put them and how I want to utilize them. Let's see if, let's just take one off. See how it would look just on a page. Hmm. I'll say this every single video, you guys, putting stickers down, it's a commitment because they don't come up really well. I love this deer. Okay, I wonder if I could utilize, I mean, I love the animals. I'm just not sure if I wanna place them now or if I should wait, but I wonder if I could put some of these snowflakes. It just kind of goes with this theme here. Let's see, maybe if I can put one in each corner, not to be boring or anything, but I wonder, wonder if I could put one right here. And then let's take this one. These are so pretty. I'll put it here. And then on the Friday, see we have another big one. I wonder if that would look out of place. 
place. If I put it there, I mean, it kind of, there, okay, I did it, it's down. I'm not, I'm not gonna peel any of them up. I have the hardest time um, with everything ripping. So once it's down, it is down. I wonder if we could go. I think I like that. Put one there and then we need to find one for, here's a smaller one, let's see, right underneath it. Let's turn it this way and see what it looks like. Gotta test all of our options here. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, so my snowflakes are down. Now, let's see, Monday, I have to remember, I'm gonna try to fill out some things here because I need to, okay, we have our eight to 12. challenge class but I have to remember to call the ortho office and cancel appointment for Tuesday and then I have to reschedule reschedule an allergy appointment for my son. The appointment that we had, we're actually gonna be out of town, so um, that's gonna be in like a week or two. So I wanted to make sure to cancel that, and then um, we will be doing school. Um, I gotta figure out my dinner plans. So what I do is I keep all of my plans here on the monthly spread. So one of my goals for this month is to, let's see if I have it. Yep, plan out meals each week. So tonight I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try to plan out what we're gonna have this whole week so that I know what we're gonna do and I'm gonna make it kind of easy because of starting back on school. Um, and then I know like on the 12th, we're gonna have to have something super easy because after my meeting, it usually goes to like 5.30 um, and I'm not gonna have time to make like a huge dinner. Um, but I'm kind of excited to plan out a week in advance. I think it'll make my life easier. Um, so that I know what we're having and what we're doing. Now, I don't think I need to track anything else on these pages. I don't know, I'm just kind of keeping everything simple. Um, I used to track my Bible reading, my journaling, um, and scripture writing, but I feel like that was just kind of a, just a writing exercise because I knew that I had to do it and I didn't necessarily have to have it on my weekly pages. So I'm gonna leave that out. Um, I know over the weekend I'm gonna have to pack because on the 17th, that, that's when we leave for, we're, we're heading back up to the mountains with a couple of friends and their families. Um, so, and actually we're probably gonna be doing some school Saturday and Sunday because whatever we're going to be missing while we're gone again, I want them to not have to quote unquote be behind. I know that we're not like behind anyone, but I have like a certain idea and a certain schedule of where I want them to be. So I want them to at least do math on Saturday and Sunday. So that's the plan there. Um, and you know, after this week, I will go ahead and film a flip through of the first two weeks so that you can see what I've been doing. Um, my first week looked a lot different than this week is going to look. And then you'll be able to kind of see how I incorporated my homeschool day on this page. I am not going to commit to anything right now because I kind of just want to see 
how the day, I don't know. I think I'm going to see, I'm going to write out exactly kind of like what they need to do, but that doesn't get done until um, tonight or even in the morning. Sometimes with homeschool, I'm like, okay, that morning, let's kind of look and see what I need to do. I have like this bigger picture idea of what needs to get done, but then per week, per day, it's kind of like, all right, what can we handle today? How is the day going to go? What does this week look like? So it's just kind of narrowing it in. Now on my yearly planner, my 12 month planner, um, my thought, I'm going to kind of take one page per week and jot down like what has to get done that week. Um, I didn't do it this week because we were gone and there was really nothing that had to get done. So I'm going to have an extra page um, and maybe I might need that to write notes for homeschooling. So I will show you that also. So I'm going to make sure that I do a flip of my planner before I do another plan with me so that you can see everything that I've done. Um, but I think that is all I need to do today with you here. Um, as always, you guys, thank you for watching these videos and thank you for engaging in the comments and leaving questions or just ideas for me. I truly enjoy reading all of those and getting good ideas. I know that we're all here to kind of help each other and, um, just bounce ideas off of each other. And that's what is so great about this planner community. So if you have questions or anything, let me know below. I will be here in a couple days. Um, I'm thinking at the end of the week, I will do kind of like a check-in, flip through my planner, and then we will move on to the next week. So have a wonderful second week of January. I will see you all on my next video. Bye.